Well, we've just received the, the full calf registration for the whole of 2016 for Scotland, and it shows uh, three interesting things. Uh, the first one is it, uh, it's showing the continuation of the concentration of calving into the uh, March, April, May period, now sitting at about 50% of all registrations. Very different from what we find for Great Britain as a whole, where the same figure is 38%. The second thing that it's showing is a continuing growth of interest in native breeds. They've now reached the point where they're taking almost 24% of all the calf registrations, up from about 17% a decade ago. And the third thing they're showing is the nuance of the impact of the economic circumstances of the dairy sector, where uh, we are now seeing fewer purebred dairy calf registrations in the system and a few more beef registrations in the system. Now the other thing that has happened over the past 12 months has been the, the pressure coming on the producer to bring particularly male carcasses forward at a lighter weight. And this has resulted in cattle uh, arriving at the market at a slightly younger age. Uh, typically a, a week to 10 days has been taken off the average age of the male cattle coming into slaughter. Having said that though, um, over the uh, generality of the slaughter stock arriving at Scottish abattoirs, the average age of slaughter still remains around 22 months. So what we are seeing is two or three things influencing the marketplace at this time of year. First of all, we have got this seasonal profile of calvings, um, typically coming to slaughter at 22 months of age, which is putting a higher volume of Scottish-born livestock into the marketplace in the spring of the year. The second thing we see, of course, is the move away from the high value retail cuts to the lower value mince and stewing steaks, which influences the amount of money that the processor has in his pocket. Put those two elements together and we get a well supplied market and we see the prices dip, particularly in the January and February period. Now the converse happens when we get further towards June, July. That peak volume of cattle that have been born in the spring of the year are now beginning to pass through the abattoirs and there's a tightening up of supply and the consumer is perhaps looking for more uh, steaks and things like that and we find the price beginning to rise at this time of year. So what comes from that profile of demand and that profile of supply is not only a variation in the farm gate price but also a variation in the premium paid in the Scottish markets. At the early time of the year, January, February, March, we find the Scottish market fairly well supplied and the premium begins to narrow. As we move through to the summer and into the, the autumn period, then the availability of Scottish stock tightens up just a little bit and the premium widens. So there we have it in summary. The, the current market price is at their seasonal low, but with a strong prospect of their beginning to rise as we move towards the summer. The premium paid in the Scottish market over the GB is currently at its seasonal low and we would expect that to widen as we go through to the summer. In terms of the marketplace, we have an exchange rate that seems to have stabilised at about 85 to 87 pence to the euro, which is making Irish beef, for example, more expensive to bring into the country and is making our beef slightly cheaper on the continent. So we are still trading with Europe as we have done for the past 40 plus years. Those terms of trade haven't changed. Uh, the exchange rate is encouraging to us. It's making it possible for us to be more competitive in that market. And it's making imported product more expensive onto the market. So although it's challenging times, uh, there are some opportunities there.